Hey everybody and welcome to Cartography. This time uh, we're going to be showing you how to actually make maps and we're just going to make a map and we're going to use this map and this will be part of the real world of Solemn. So um, we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different. We're not going to be using the normal map making method that we've been doing on all of our other cartographies because I'm not very happy with it anymore. I feel like it's time to move on to better maps, cooler maps with better designs and stuff. So we're going to do this together and we're just going to hope that it works. Uh, first things first, we need a background color. Now I've already selected the background color that we're going to use. It's this weird parchment like color. It's this nice flat kind of tan sandy shit. Um, and that's going to be because we're not going to be doing like green for grass and dark green for forests and dark brown dots for hills and stuff. We're going we're gonna to do a different map. Um, but we don't want just a tan background, that's kind of blame, lame. So in Photoshop, we've already painted the background, or paint bucketed the background, and we're going to switch palettes, or not palettes, color palettes, yeah. And we're going to use this same one that we're using back here, but we're going to change it slightly, make it a little bit darker, a little bit more yellow, um, like that. And then we're going to filter, render clouds. Um, but I don't really like those clouds, so we're going to filter and render clouds again. And those feel like the exact same clouds. So we're, oh, you know what we're going to do? Haha. Ha. We're going to switch it so that the lighter color palette is on top and the darker color palette is on the bottom. <clears throat> and now we're going to do it again. Render clouds. Oh, that's nice. But I feel like the dark splotches are too dark. So we're going to go back here, change our dark splotches to be a little less dark. And then filter to render clouds. Okay, sure. Uh, that'll work. Uh, I did not... The, the, the map size for here is 1920 by 1080, which is your typical 1080p resolution stuff. So that's what I'm going with. You can go with any size you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so that's that. Next thing we want to do is we want to draw the outline of our continent. For that, I'm going to be using the paintbrush tool. And if you see over here, the diameter is one pixel, the hardness is 100%. And we're going to be using pure black, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And now we're going to, oh, important thing, over here on the right-hand side, notice that the this cloudy layer is on layer one. We're going to create a new layer there too, and that's where we're going to start drawing our thing. Forgive the coughing and the sneezing. I am, you know, perpetually ill in Vietnam. So, we're going to draw something. And what we're going to be drawn is like a big island, more or less, which is, I guess, what a continent is, a big island. Uh, and I don't really have too many ideas. The only thing, the only idea I have going into this is that I want a section of fjords or like deep rivers to almost cut off a section of the world. For example, I want like, you know, a fjord to come in, run down here, and then to have like a big section over here that barely attaches. And then, you know, there's a continent or whatever over here like this. And then you have this section that is what? That's like a third of the overall space, maybe a quarter of the overall space that's cut and connected only by this bridge. And the reason I want this is I want this to be an almost island, a peninsula, if you speak Latin, which literally means almost island. Um, and that, you know, you have to cross the fjords to get to or take a ship around, or you can have this little overland route. And that allows this weird power dynamic where the you can have a, a powerful naval force up top, a powerful naval force below, and then this overland route <clears throat> could be controlled by a completely different party. You know, so you can have three different people kind of running this area. Or you can have one person running this area, you know. If if whoever owns this continent, this section of land, gets a powerful enough navy to control all of these areas and then also control this area. But whatever. It doesn't matter. The point is that this is generally the concept that I want to be working with here. So we're going to start with what I've got in my mind, which is the fjords and the thingy off to the side. And we're actually just going to keep that relative placement. And now just using a mouse, we're going to take our time and draw a, a, a fjord, which, you know, I don't really know how to do. I did a bunch on the other cartography map. We're just going to see how it works. 
Okay, I'm gonna come out here like this, kind of snaking all over the place. Um, and I'm kind of just drawing this at random. I don't really know where these lines are going. I'm just kind of wobbling and wiggling and kind of doing whatever my gut tells me. And it might not work out. We might have to repeat it a few times, but we're trying. Okay, now the question is, do I want a big area right here or do I want to like close it and then come back out down here? I don't know. Let's try it without closing it. No, no, I do think it needs to be closed. So we'll wiggle it in, drop it down. Okay, we'll have you come up here. Like that, I'm losing grip on my mouse. Oh God. Okay, here we go. Back in. I don't know how far down this should go, but we're going to just do something. Something like this. And I dig it. You get it, and it's going to come back up, and then back, oh, no, shit, there we go, back up, and I was inspired to do this method by seeing the Gems of Power map that Chucky created for Gems of Power. Um... I really liked the way that that was done. Very simple, no roads, none of that. Just like big cities and big monuments. And I think that's, you know, not monuments, but big, um, you know, environmental factors. And I really liked that. I, I think the addition of roads in the Solemn map was a terrible idea. Um, but, you know, so be it. Maybe not a terrible idea, but it's... Clearly, as I'm designing this map, there won't be any roads. So I'm going to at least try out the new style. Okay. And our kind of weird fractal fjords are done. Now, do we like these fjords? Sure. Why not? We're going to make a new layer, and we're going to continue working on the new layer. That means if we fuck something up, we can erase or whatever, and it's fine with the fjords. The fjords are kept intact no matter what happens. So now let's just draw a coastline over here. Anything in particular we want to do with this coast? I don't think so. Um, going up, going down. I'm kind of just wiggling my mouse as I go along making, because you don't want your coast to be like straight lines like this, you know, that's not interesting coast. So these little wiggles make the coastline a little more interesting and at the same time do not bind you to anything. This coastline could just as easily have been that for the in terms of the effect it will have on gameplay. This is just nice and you know looks better in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. And we're coming out here like this. Uh, where's our tool? Here we go. I feel like this continent is getting a little bit big over here, so we're gonna start bringing it in, make it feel less big. I don't know why I keep calling it a continent. I guess it's because it's almost a continent, like it's almost separated from everything else. It's just got that one little choke. Okay, now it felt like it was too small, so I made it a little bit bigger again. Now we gotta give ourselves our little a little choke point, which we're going to do by going up like this. No, that's a stupid idea. Why? Yep, my glasses are broken, so we're we're having to use the old bring the head closer to the monitor technique to see detail. Okay, now how does that look? That looks all right. Do I really like this? What if, 
just talking. See, new layer so I can doodle without worrying about things. What if we didn't have these right here? What if that was gone? What if, and I'm just talking here, what if it was more like that? Would we, would we be happier like that? If all the fjords kind of went into the other side and not this side? Do we like that? I don't know. I kind of do. All right, so we're going to go back to our fjord layer. We're going to use a lasso to cut off these guys like this and delete. Then we're going to zoom in, grab our tool, drop it back down to one size, switch it back to black and white. And we'll just connect these like this. Put a big island in the middle. How does that look? There we go. <clears throat> hmm. What if we didn't have the island as well? What if this was just a big empty spot? Do we like this or do we like this? I think I like the island. Okay. Um, now let's go back to our, oh yeah, we didn't need that layer four anymore. Cool. Layer three is done with that section. Um, now let's just keep going back to this side. I guess I didn't really need to do the fjords in their own layer. I was just worried. So I did. I think it's fine. Um, actually, let's stop here. Let us actually create a fourth layer and figure out how we want the rest of the continent to be. So do we want this to be two thirds of the over or one third of the overall size? Do we want it to be shaped like this? Do we want it to be shaped like that? Or it'd be half, it'd be kind of, I don't want it to be split in half. Actually, I think I'd rather have this be like a third of this, or not a third, um, a quarter or a fifth of the size. Like what if the continent was like this or something. No. What if it was small like that? And then you could have this be like the civilized area and this be the uncivilized, untamed lands. No. What if it Something like that. No. What about that? Yeah, that's it. So <clears throat> I guess a third is really what I'm looking for here. I do think I want it to be a third of the size. Okay, so back on layer three. You know what, screw it. Let's just do that entire section on a fourth layer. It can't hurt. It can only help. So doodling out and we do want it to be one choke point oh wait a minute what if we did two choke points hold on what if it went down and then back up like this and then this entire middle section could be its own you know this is the blah 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 which you have to pass through to get from one to the other if you don't want to go by C. But in passing through, it's this... Maybe, yeah, let's do it like this. Let's do it like that. I don't know, we'll figure out what's going on there later. Um, and we're doodling up. And we're doodling over. And we're doodling up. I'm going to come back down here. 
<laughs> uh, I think we're building Florida. Maybe like reverse Italy. Uh oh. Do we have a second Florida? Or a real Italy? Kind of looks like a pair of feet. We'll keep it for now. But it's on thin ice over there. And we doodle. <laughs> Do we want this to come in? I think we do. Maybe that should actually come in even closer. Kind of get a Spain thing coming off the end over here. I guess it's no longer a Spain thing, but you know. All right, here's our map. How do we feel about this? I feel like it doesn't go south enough. Um, new layer. I would kind of actually like the shape to come down a little bit more. And then this is all good. And then maybe like have a more substantial bottom side. Yeah. So let's... Uh, yeah, let's just clear the entire fourth layer and do it again. Uh -huh. So we come back up. Actually, you know what? Let's just do this section on the third layer as well. Because I liked that. So you're going to come over here. And you're going to climb up. And get close, but not too close. There we go. Now we go back to our fourth layer. Uh, so let's start coming down first. I guess we're not going to do the feet. Um. Okay. Is that good enough? If it then goes... Yeah, I dig that design, roughly. Okay, so you're gonna start coming back up. In fact, let's cancel that. Let's open a fifth layer and just draw roughly the shape of what we want. No, I don't like that shit. I don't even remember what I had before. Uh, fifth layer, maybe if it's up here. No, what if it's, no, what if we're here, and then we bulge, and then we bulge, no. Damn it, we had a cool shape, what was it? Something like that? Okay, but something like that, that sticks out a little bit further. So maybe a little bit more like this, and then it actually comes in more like that. Yeah, cool. <clears throat> so, fourth layer. I'm trying to stay on top of this roughly, you know, you don't have to follow the exact shape. It's more of the concept we're looking for. If 
fact, we're actually going to get rid of that for a moment. I like peninsulas. Okay, so let's go up here. So let's cancel. And how in line are we with? Oh, yeah, we're still totally in line. Cool. Okay, so up here, we're going to draw up and up and up. And then we're going to come back down. Still all while going westward. Uh oh, I definitely have to, no, 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 that's the wrong tool, lasso tool, there we go, delete that shit, all right, we're going to zoom back in again, come over here, Scroll to the side. Check in with this. Ooh, we are getting a little high here. Um, let's, wrong thing again. Let's remove that and come back with something like this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, no. Uh oh. Uh, yes, there we go. And now we go down and out. And out like this, and then up over and over <laughs> and down and kind of make this big bay over here <laughs> Now for this last section, how close are we to this thing? Yeah, it's close enough. Um, for this last section, in fact, let's just delete all of, oh, no, 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 no. Let's delete all of that. Um, we could just close it. We could have it come in. We could have it come out. I don't think it should come, ooh, wait, maybe it should, should come out. What do we think? Out or in? or close. Close looks pretty good. Out is okay. Out like that's okay. What if it was something like that? In, in like that's cool. What if it was like a bigger inland thingy? No. What if it was something like that? Ooh, yeah! Let's do something like that. No. Maybe something like that. What if it was like this? Yeah, because then you can kind of like cordon off the world into different sections. I guess you could do the same thing if it was like that. You'd have this area. You'd have like this region. It's all one. This region's another. This is one big region. Here you've got this. You've kind of got this thingy right up here. You've got this, this in here, which might actually make more sense to include this all the way out here like that. And then you've got this area in between, which is just kind of here. So this is divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kingdoms. 
Oh god, Seven Kingdoms, no, it's something like Game of Thrones, we can't do that. I don't know. Um, how did that work? Yeah, that worked if we did... If we came out like this. Which maybe we should do. Let's let's just try it. Let's... We squiggle. And squiggle. Not to be confused with wiggles, because we are not into the wiggles, because we are not children, nor do we have children. I guess you could. You could be totally into the wiggles. Um, and then we're back over here. Climbing up and around. Do, 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 do. How do we feel about this? I don't know. What if this was more like that? What if it did the other thing? What if it went up? No, I think I like it coming down. Oh, what if? Yeah, let's have it do. We're actually going to just remove this top section here. Oh shit, this other thing was on layer five. Okay, remove this top section of layer four. Come back to layer five and squiggle. No. Oh, wrong, wrong tool. No wonder. And wiggle. Like that. I don't know. I feel like it's too disjointed everywhere. Hmm. What about... No... No, what if it comes in earlier and then does this? No. What if it does this, but then there is a large lake with a river? Or like down here more, a large lake with a river that extends to here. Now, what about... Uh, <laughs> 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of running out of ideas here. I'm not digging any of this stuff. No, I kind of dig that. Okay, what if we do a, a, a broad but shallow bay? So we come out here like this. Like 
that. Yeah, because this wasn't bad. Hold on. Let's go. Let's scroll through our history. Oh, this is why you always have more history layers. Um. Hmm. Okay, so what if we do... There we go. This might just be the one. Whew, good. So running into my laptop and wires. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Like this. Now we merge these layers together. And we're going to save state. How do you save state? Is that what this does? That's a mask, right? Yeah, that's a fucking mask. How do you take a snapshot? I don't even remember. Uh, oh, no, it's in the history area. Right? Snapshot. Perfect. So here's... Oh, God, what have I done? So, start, and here we go. Perfect, perfect. So, now we need to do what? Um, we want to put in some sort of forests, some sort of mountains, some sort of towns. Hmm. Now, if we make a forest or hill brush, we could just brush mountains and forests and shit into place. But if we're doing a, a finite map like this, not like an endless map like we were doing in the previous psalm, it might make more sense to actually do them by hand to give them that cooler, more genuine feel. Well, first we need to decide where terrain types are. So let's create a new layer once again. We're going to call this layer coastline. We're going to call this layer parchment. And we're going to call this layer uh, region or terrain types. The other thing we need to do is figure out a scale here. So I think... These fjords are really, hmm. These should, shouldn't be more than a mile across. In fact, they should be a lot less than a mile across. In fact, this should be like a mile. But that means our entire kingdom is not that big. All right, so what if we say these are, this is a mile. Um, can we get a, View grid. All right, so if we say each one of these grids is is a mi two miles across, two miles across, that would mean that we've got. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That means this is only 40 miles from coast to coast, which is not very big. What does 40 miles coast to coast look like in the real world? What does 40 miles look like? That's not that big at all. Okay, so we got to ignore the notion. Okay, so these fjords are actually huge. <laughs> Um, or just misrepresented on the scale of the map. 
that's probably a more accurate thing is that they're not actually this big not actually this wide it just looks this wide on a big map because otherwise you wouldn't be able to draw it um, so let's say each one of these squares is five miles across that gives us one two three four five right five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 19 squares roughly, right? Screw it, 20 squares. So 20 times 5 is 100 miles. So that's Santa Barbara to Los Angeles, which is not very big at all. Um, all right, let's redo it. Let's rethink it in these terms. I would like from... Wait a minute, what's going on? Hold on. Okay, this vertical line right here where my mouse is lined up exactly with one of the grids, and I was freaking out that I had missed a line. Um, let's say that from here to here is 100 miles. Okay, so that would be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and a half, and a half, 8, so 8. Um, eight squares is a hundred miles, which is not a very comfortable calculation. Can we do 10 squares is a hundred miles? Each square is 10 miles. Uh, that makes this only 80 miles, but that's okay. And if there's 20 across, it means it's 200 from side to side. Right? If, where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? I've lost, I lost my mouse. Here we go. So we're doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Damn it, no, I really... It's 80 miles, really? And this is really 20? Across 1, 2, 3, 4... Oh, Freaking hell. All right, so we're doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 23 across. If each one of these things is 10 miles and this is 230 miles, which again, not a huge section of the world. How big is that? That's like the size of Madagascar or something. Maybe not quite that small, but it's definitely a small island. Well, large island, small continent, smaller than Australia. Um... Maybe that should be good. It'd be easy if each of one of these was 10 miles. Okay, so if this is eight, let's think of, um, uh, if this is, if each of these are 10 miles, how far can you travel in a day? A person could walk 20 miles in a day. And on horseback, you can go 50 miles in a day. You can do 100 if you push it. So let's say a person can go 25, a horse can go 50, or 100 if it really, really pushes it. I guess if a person is booking it and they're not resting, they could push 50 miles in a day, but they would have to be really fucking tricky. They'd have to like jog the whole way, pretty much. Um, or like, you know, a lot of extra time over land. So if a horse can do 100 miles in a day, you could easily get from, if a horse can do 100 miles in a day, you could easily get from here, this, this choke point down here, to anywhere in this peninsula in a day. Assuming good roads and good weather. Hmm. Which means that if someone wants to come from one side of the kingdom to the other, it would take them one, two, three days to horseback all the way across. Which kind of ruins this whole thing, because then the idea of having to take these other routes doesn't make much sense. I want it to be five days from here to here. So if a horse can, five normal days, five days of normal horseback riding or two and a half days of track pushing it. Let's call it six days of horseback, of normal horseback from there to there. Um, 
or like 10 days of marching on foot. Is that right? Yeah, so if that's 10 days and you can go 25 miles in a day, that means that has to be 250 miles. So here to here is 250. How do you... Okay, so let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. So if each of one of these squares is actually 50 miles, that would work, right? Horse could go 1, 2, 3, it would take 4. What if each one of these is 25 miles? This is a horse could go 1, 2 days could get up here from here. Three days would be nicer. Yeah, it would be two days if it was a straight road. Okay, so let's say each each square is 25 miles by 25 miles. Now, how many squares I have here, I don't actually know what the what the size of these are. Where is the preferences uh, grid? 70 pixels is apparently 25 miles. Well, what, why don't we... 100 pixels, no. Yeah, let's do four subdivisions. No, 70 works really well. What if we drop it to 60? And let's just get rid of these subdivisions. So now 100 miles is 25, 50, 55, I'm sorry, 25, <laughs> 25, 50, 75, 100. One, two, 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 two. So one, one day, two days. No. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Twenty-five, fifty, hundred, hundred and fifty, two hundred, two hundred and fifty miles. This would be fifty, a hundred. Yeah. So this is roughly two hundred and fifty miles. Two hundred twenty-five. This is two hundred twenty-five. Okay, this is good. Cool. So we're going to delete all of these weird markings, and we're going to we're going to do a a legend down here. Twenty five, fifty, seventy five, one hundred. Okay. Now we're going to get rid of the oh, no no no, and then we're going to make little crosses. Actually, we're going to undo that one. We're going to make a new layer. Now we're going to make a little cross. Now we're going to go view, edit. Cool. So that's the 50 marker, and we're going to duplicate. And then we're going to duplicate both of those. Cool. We're going to go back to view, grid. We're going to take this guy, and we're going to just move him to there. And this guy is going to move to there. And this guy is going to move all the way out to the end. And then we're going to duplicate you one more time and move you all the way to the other end. Okay, and then we're going to merge you guys. We're going to get rid of the that. So now we've got <clears throat> 150, 25, 75. Cool. So now we need some sort of text. Myriad Pro is lovely. <clears throat> and then we can say 100 miles. In fact,
<laughs> Trying to get these things even on both sides. There we go. How many spaces? Two, three, three spaces, three spaces. Perfect. Actually, we should probably remove a space from each side of those. I know it's a minor thing, but damn it all. Okay, and the color of that we might want to change to something that is maybe a little bit more brownie. There we go. A nice chocolate or chocolate or brown. There we go. That's nice. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so terrain types. We never even did terrain types. Let's do our terrain types. Um, so we're going to roughly do green for forest. We're also going to go blending options, 25% here. So forested region is going to be most of this. Here, why don't we just do it this way? Um, oh god, no! I like I know what we're doing. Um, How do I make, isn't this what masks are for or some shit? No. How do you create clipping mask? There we go. Uh, and then for here, oh God, I don't know what I'm doing. Shit. All right, I guess that means we actually need to fill in this coastline nonsense like this, and then draw like this or something. Yeah, it's not exactly what I want to do. Um. Hmm, what if we instead hmm. <laughs> coastline? All right, that does select just that. <clears throat> Here's the inside. How do we? Oh. I understand what we're doing now. I've just been ridiculous. All right, let's get rid of the clipping mask. Let's select the inside of here for coastlines. Ta-da! And now we'll just draw. Hey, look at that. Whoops, not on here, though, on the terrain type. Um, so we've got forest in this area. I think the forest should come out like this a lot. Mm -hmm. What else needs to be forested? Um, maybe this swath? Maybe not that swath. Um, this area right here. In fact, this whole central region. This should be the great forest of the area. Um, like you. I like something like this. And what else do we want forested? Like real forests, 
I mean, there'll of course be trees everywhere, but forest forests. Uh, I like this. I want this over here to be hills. So let's change our color. Can we? That didn't work. So let's actually switch our colors so that way we maintain our forest color. Let's grab this weird brownish shit. This will be hills. Um, I want this to be hills. I mean, of course, these fjorded areas have to be hills too. Um, but they're going to be like, you know, maybe not. You know, hills in and around this region. Right, because the fjords are mountain. I guess they don't have to necessarily be. This could just be. Yeah, no, there should definitely be some hills around here. Or not. This could actually just be this big inland sea ish area. We don't need the mountains around here, do we? No, I think we really do need the mountains in around here. Well, maybe not. Now that we're using this 100 mile scale, these things are like 20 miles across. Not 20 miles across, but they're a few miles across. You know, this region up here is 20 some miles across. This region right here is probably only. That's 25. That's probably like five miles across. You know, fjords are five miles across. Yeah, this could be like the great inland sea ish thing. We don't need fucking hills here. All right, so let's get rid of all these damn hills. Oh, and this is why you have more history states, guys. I should really change the number of states I have for history. Um, so let's go back to hills. I like this area down here being hilly. Um, I'd like to see some more hills over here. Maybe not that entire section, but definitely here and and over here oh. you know, let's kind of just draw a line of hills Like that. Oh no. Back one. What if we do them? Up in here. Like this. as well. And we don't want to f flush this out with hills. We want that to be some like grassland or whatever. We need some more hills on this side. Um, I don't want just like a circle of hills. That doesn't make any sense. Ooh, maybe something, yeah, hold on. Maybe something like this. Maybe that's just a mountain range. What if we move it? Let's move it inland a little bit further. Yeah, we could just have a mountain range that does this. And then up here as well. Maybe not quite that far. 
but something like this that comes out a little bit more. <clears throat> this entire choke be blocked off, so you have to pass through the hills. No, there should be a pass down at the very south of it if you want to avoid the hills. And. Okay, what about. We're running out of pallets, out of colors. Whatever, fuck it. Uh, swamps. Well, I don't think there's any great swamps. There might be like small localized swamps. Do we have a great swamp somewhere? Ooh, maybe the great swamp is up in here. Yes, yeah, like this region. The great saltwater swamp. And it does kind of leak around to the other sides. Um, forest, hills, mountains, swamps, deserts. Oh shit, that should have been the desert color. Alright, what color are we doing for deserts now? Blue! Blue is our desert! That makes a ton of sense! Um, I feel like this area in here should be desert. Something like that. Maybe not all the way up like this, but definitely deserts here. And if that's a hundred miles, that's like a that desert's what a hundred and hundred miles across this way. Hundred and oh Jesus, what have I done? Hundred and fifty miles across that way. Okay, what other terrains do we need? We got deserts. Do we have one another desert? This this will be like an icy, snowy desert. Um, maybe some over here. No, no, no deserts over there. Uh, what other terrain types do we have? River deltas, wetlands. Wetlands are pretty much swamps. All right, I think these are the the big terrain types that we need, because everything else would be plains or grasslands or something like that. And of course the grasslands will have their share of hills and trees and wetter areas, but generally speaking predominated dominated by grasslands. Okay. So now we've got our our layers figured out or our, our terrain types figured out, we should make them. So forests. How do we draw our forests in? Well, let's go to our normal zoom level, which is not that deep. And let's just start drawing tree. Well, you know what? Let's zoom in a little bit more. Whoa, Bessie, not that much. Okay. And let's just start drawing trees. Um, we should do blue black. Do 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 I can make really good trees. Bum 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 bum. Neil's trees are the best trees. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, treeing the shit out of this place. Uh, 
Alright, we're gonna have to zoom out, make sure that this looks good. If this looks bad, we'll redo it. That looks okay. And by okay, I mean it looks like crap and we're gonna redo it. So, let's make our trees a little bit taller. Actually, why don't we just do, why don't we just draw them from here? Maybe this will be better. No, no. All right, we're going to zoom in again. We're going to go. Tree. 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 We're going to cut the branches on this one a little bit and just make it not quite so badly cut off. There we go. Um, tree. Tree. <laughs> you guys know you're all jealous of my tree drawing skills. You wish you could draw trees like me. There we go. That's a forested area. Oh god, I don't want to have to draw trees for everything. I am lazy. Alright, let's see if we can't copy paste 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 mm -hmm. I know some of these are sticking out, but that's fine. You'll see why in just a minute. Okay, now we're going to go back down to our coastline layer. I'm going to grab everything on the inside. I'm going to invert, just delete everything that's, oh god, no, oh shit. No, nope, nope, to undo everything. All right, all these forest layers that we've done, we're going to merge layers. Okay, now we're going to go to the coastline, select the, actually select the outside and clear anything on the outside. Good. Now we're going to just go here. You know what? We didn't even need to do that. We're just going to do this. through here, up to there. And then wrap around like that, and wrap around like that, and this. And go delete. Whoa, that was not what we intended. Um, okay, but we still have a few more forests that we need to a few more trees we need to plant. So we're going to go paste. You go here and paste. And you go here. And 
paste in here there. And then we're going to merge these guys together. And then we're going to come back down like this. Nope, wrong tool. We want lasso tool. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Delete, delete, clear this. Yeah, let's just zoom in a little bit and go grab you and just drag you in a little bit. There we go. And come back out and zoom back in in this area. And we're just going to drag you. So we, we circle with the lasso tool and then we use the arrow tool to just drag. Uh, <laughs> or we circle with whatever tool, you know, as long as we can select it. And I want you to come down just a smidge. There we go. Great. Um, and now we're going to copy, paste. Just kind of throughout this region. Like this. We want to avoid oversaturation. So we might have to do things like, whoops. Things like this. Um, things like this. Things like this. that and like that and like that and like that oh no we all of you. You guys come in like this. And then like that. Hmm. It's a shame. You don't belong anywhere. You don't fit anywhere, do you? really don't. Okay, and then things like this. There you go, you guys fit in here all right. And things like... Now you might be questioning, is this really more efficient, Neil? Or are you just wasting your time because you're stubborn? And I cannot actually give you an answer to that question. Uh, but I will merge these layers together and then do the old zoom in a little bit and just kind of erase these things on the sides that we don't need. Good, those are erased. There's some like weird shit in occasionally where stuff wasn't quite used all the way. <laughs> we go clear out this crap scroll over clear out this crap nice here we're just gonna lasso around delete that stuff
Delete that stuff. Delete. Delete. <laughs> Delete. Clear out these waterways of things. <laughs> the reason I'm not doing a full, um, just deleting everything that's not in within the the right area, that's a not. The reason I'm not deleting everything that isn't on land is because there's some things that are half on land that I want to keep. For example, this guy right here should be moved. These two, oh god, that's not right. These two right here should be moved. Um, these guys here can just be deleted. This guy, oh, you can just hold control, even better. Circle and control, circle and control, circle and control, perfect. Circle and delete, circle and control, circle in control, circle Jeff, circle control, circle control, circle control. Circle move. Oops. There we go. <laughs> okay. Well, this is a new map. It should take some time to make. Um. All right, at this point, I'm probably better just filling it in by hand. So let's, let's get all of you guys and delete you and just come in here and fill in trees by hand. Okay. <laughs> No, we're going to erase that one. Okay. More trees. You know what? Screw it. We are lazy. Copy, paste, and then drag them here, and then get rid of this one. Great. Uh, you go away, but we're going to take these five from that layer and paste them over here. And just draw, whoops, whoops, there we go. That's a good tree. Uh-huh. Merge these layers again. Circle up you guys. And do that. Move that. And that. And merge. Let's cut out the bottom part of that circle. All right, you move over here. 
to remove shit. So if you're using the lasso tool, control will allow you. God damn it, this is too difficult. Okay, Sh uh, if you have a space, shift will allow you to add to that space, while alt will allow you to erase from that space. So shifting and adding. And then control to move. And then control to move. There we go. There we go. Um, and then add some more trees. This is so much more difficult to do with a mouse than it is with a pencil. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. There we go. And we're going to move the green layer to make sure that it all still appears to be well forested. Okay, but we do need to bring you in a little bit. You should probably come over here. And you should come down here. So should you. You should come off the side just a smidge. All right, so now we've got most of our forests. Let's take a nice big swath of them. To steal for this region. And we'll take another section of these and move them over here. And you go there. We're going to actually get rid of that. You guys go there. And you go there. And you go there. I do want you a little higher. I want you a little over here more. There we go. So that gives us all of our desert layers. Maybe we should just leave it with colors. No, no. Those are desert, or those are forest layers. How are we going to do our deserts? Um. What is a good symbol for desert? What if for desert we draw, oh, hold on, I should merge these and layer properties as forest. Okay, so new layer, layer uh, desert. Whatever. Um, we actually have to change something because I this line down here at the bottom that I just circled it was on the terrain type layer and we don't want it on the terrain type layer so we're going to need to go X and V and then move you back And bring you down one. Okay, cool. Now let's go back to this. 
uh, not uh, let's go back to blending options put you back at 25 percent cool desert we could mark deserts as lines and dots you know we could just mark deserts as lines just straight lines so what if it's whoops So I'm just clicking, holding shift, and sliding around. These lines will not all be the same size. But that should be fine. Ooh, nope. Gotta let go of shift in between each click. Nope. Nope. Oh no, I'm drawing I'm drawing deserts in all the hill spots. Shit. Okay, let's go back over here. That's why you don't make your hills the color of deserts. This is much easier to do than forests. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's too many lines. Like I should space these out a little further. There should be more spaced out. I feel like there's probably too many trees too. Hmm. All right, what if we do it like this? Well, no, that's, yeah, that's desert. That works. Okay, now we're going to coastline inside. Go back to the desert area and start making our lines. We don't want any of these to go off the coast. Oops. Okay. Now we have still the swamp area and we have these hills, but let's just focus on the hills for now. Their properties, hills. Um, we can just do hills like hills. Nice little gentle. Nice little curves. There we go.
like that. And we can even delineate the type of hill. Like down here, these hills are much steeper and smaller in base. I guess that just makes them taller and smaller in base, which makes them steeper. Um, but smaller and steeper hills. As opposed to over here, where you've got kind of like these long, flat hills. Uh -huh. And then over here. More hills and more hills. Oh. Hills are looking a little funky, but that's fine. You can always go back and undo and fix things. That was an ugly hill. That was an ugly hill. There we go. Mm -hmm. Let's erase some of these suckers in here. Oh, that was something on my monitor. Something on my screen. Okay, I thought that was our... Uh, <laughs> there we go. God, I don't like any of these hills down here. Okay, now we're going to do, over here we wanted to do mountains, right? So we're going to do hill, mountain, hill, mountain. Let's just do some hills down the sides, bigger hills. Which eventually just lead into large mountain. Oh, God. Up and down, up and down. Uh, and we're going to want to zoom in and cap some of these peaks with snow. There we go. And then we're just going to do some more hills on the other side. There we go. Now we've done all of the different uh, types of terrain. And I think we've done way too much because now how the hell am I supposed to put cities and names? Way too much terrain. Um, well, we'll figure that out. How are we going to do cities? We should do major, we should just put major cities down and then let towns and whatnots be as they are. <clears throat> so 
how do, we don't want to just do like circles for cities anymore, right? We don't want to just go like city, city, city. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I kind of liked how the, the cities that Chucky had going were actual like cities, but I don't know if we have enough pixels to do that shit. But we'd actually have to make them like fairly large icons on the map. Um, but we can put... We'll put um, new layer, new layer, city, no, that's not how you spell city, city, and we're just going to go 20 pixels is blop, and we're going to go, not blop there, but like blop, and we're going to put a big city. Blop. No. Um, a much smaller city over here. No, I don't fuck. How do I want to do this? I almost don't. Um. Okay, so we need to really figure out what's going on on this map. We can't just throw sillies willy-nilly. Uh, we should kind of divide this into kingdom, into kingdoms. Layer properties, kingdoms. And blending options, 25%. So let's just do kingdom swaths. Oh, and let's also grab within the coastline, of course. So kingdoms. Uh, these guys up here are all one big fanciful kingdom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so we can erase from this. And then come back over here and fill this in again. Okay, and then we have another kingdom in here. Which may or may not be a kingdom. This might just be untamed lands that you can't go through, but it's a separate section. <laughs> And we're definitely going to have one over here. And we're going to do something inside of here. I think this kingdom is going to run the course of the, the forest line. Um, and the green guys. Forest line out here. And the yellow can be up here. And they'll follow the forest down like this. Which leaves orange to do this area. I think. And red. We already had red. 
to magenta will be everything else. Can I just fill? Yeah. How does that look? So we've got this plains region, um, <clears throat> which is controlled by some sort of horse lords, apparently. It's a very central region as well. Like it borders one, two, three, four, five different kingdoms. Um, maybe this is no one, no man's land. Maybe the green should come out and the blue should, maybe all of these other colors should come out and mix right here. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's probably how it should happen. Uh, give me orange again. All right, so orange is going to be this shit over here. Except for the fact that no one really controls the mountains or the deserts. So yeah, why don't we remove the mountains and deserts from control and if we're doing that let's also remove orange from this shit and we'll say that yellow whoops yellow runs out like this And then we can say that blue comes out here a little bit more. And then we can say that green comes up here. Um, in fact, green will probably do this. Maybe not. Maybe yellow should come down like that. Okay, so now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six different kingdoms. In fact, purple could take all of this. One, two, three, four, five. Five kingdoms. I like five kingdoms more than six. Um, so let's grab purple. No, you weren't purple. You were blue, right? Yeah. Let's give them this region. Let's remove stuff in and around the planes from them. Okay, now let's come back to this weird purplish color because this that blue mark is driving me crazy. Oh frick on a stick. Here we go. Much nicer. There we go. <clears throat> so we've got purple who's over here doing kind of, more or less their own thing. They only really interact with yellow and trade with green. You know, the, their overland route only connects to yellow. You could go across the desert to green, but that's just a pain in the ass. It's way easier just to take ships. Um, then we've got blue, who's got this kind of internal section over here. Comes down, gets some nice farmland in the south. This is this weird, unknown, uncontrolled area. Um, so you should definitely have a city on either side of this gap or like in that choke point. It'd be like a castle. This side controls this castle. This side controls this castle. Um, but of course, you can easily go back and forth uh, via ship. It's just traveling through this region is a pain in the ass. There's like no roads that come through here. You just kind of have to trek it on foot. It's probably easier to send ships. Maybe there's no castles then. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that should be its own kingdom, actually. Its own region. I don't know. Let's keep thinking about it. Um, in terms of cities, though, um, Mm 
we should be a capital city in here. There should be a capital city Is it down or is it up? Do they have the capital up here and they kind of extend down or do they have the capital down here and extend up? Let's put the capital here. Let's put a capital here. And I kind of want to have a very important city way out here, or this, I want this to be an important region. I don't know why, but I do. Maybe we could put the capital over here. So that makes the red kingdom kind of the, the largest. The red and the green are the largest by area. The red is probably the... Hmm. 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 Ships are clearly going to be very, very important in this world because you've got so much calmer, like, you know, these, these rivers or this, these fjords or whatever divide the world so much. Um, hmm, just trying to piece things together in my brain. What are we going to do with that purple area? I think this should be its own region. Like its own kingdom. So that would give us six kingdoms again, which is fine. Hmm. But I kind of feel like these three right here would be constantly working with each other, constantly battling with each other. These two would have some sort of stronger relation because they're both like feudal areas. and they've... So the, the yellow and the blue would be probably at odds with each other the most or have the, the st strongest relationship, whether that's positive or negative, that there'd be uh, the most extreme relationship between the yellow and blue. Then green kind of factors into their... And then I think red deals with yellow and blue a lot. Purple kind of just gets ignored and left on its own. No one wants to deal with purple. And blue... No, okay. Purple's on the left. Pink is on the bottom now. Okay. Purple gets left out of everything. You know, they'll trade with green, but they don't do too much. I guess they will. Of course, they'll do their own things, but... Yeah. Pink is ignored no one wants to deal with conquering pink maybe they're constant maybe they're just like really armed because everyone keeps taking over that area they're like i'm blanking on my country names i don't know there's some country that's doesn't matter um yeah i dig these things Maybe these should be mountainous regions where the fjords are. Because that actually makes them fjords, but if they're, they're like five miles across, that doesn't make any sense. How how far is five miles? I'm trying to picture it in my brain. What, what distance is five miles? Um, as the crow flies, not just by land, not by like a road. Isla Vista is a mile. So five Isla Vistas, one, two, three. What's beyond there? Four, five, God, that's pretty far. So that'd be from like Lita Beach to Elwood. It's a pretty fucking big section. That's like a 
it's definitely wider than almost any river. Is there are there any rivers that are actually five miles wide? I don't know. That's a, a big section of water. It might be five miles out to the islands. No, because it takes like half an hour to get there. No, maybe. Maybe it doesn't take half an hour. Maybe I'm crazy. Um So it's far enough that you can that you have got to take like a, a real ship to get across, um, but it's not so far that you can't see. So anyone standing on one side of the coastline in like a, a tall tower or something could see across to the other side. So it would be very easy to see when, if and when an army is coming, because you would see a collection of ships piling up, and then you'd be like, "Holy shit, guys! There's all these ships showing up," which means that. You know, yellow would keep their army, their fleets tucked in here. Blue would keep fleets tucked in here or in here. Red can't really hide their fleets anywhere except down here by pink. because, Or maybe, ooh, on the other side of this island. Yeah, you could totally hide ships on the other sides of this island. That would, the island becomes super important. Especially for red, because red can hide shit back here. Like this, that blue could not see. But if blue hides anything, red has the, here, let me put it this way. Um. Red has line of sight to here and to here. Like red can see all of blue's coastline, but blue cannot see all of red's coastline. So red can keep an armada tucked around here and then just like pew, pew, come out and attack whenever they want. Um, at least on this section of land, you know, to come out and then come down here or whatever. But that can be their little safe port. So that should definitely be. Ooh, no, not quite so many brush tools. So there should definitely be a city here. Maybe that's where the capital is. Maybe that's where red keeps their capital. Right there. Because that way they can hide their ships, they can do all their trading nice and in secret. Hmm. No, no. Let's them let them have their capital back over there. Yeah, because if that if you're going to be hiding your navy there, you're not going to want people to come through. You don't want that to be as unknown as possible. Well, I mean, it's a medieval world. Information gets around slowly, but it gets around. There's no way. You, well, hmm. yeah. Let's see. Is all this happy? Yeah. I think so. It also makes ground armies very useful because you can always see if a fleet is being built somewhere. Because you can see across these areas, especially with towers. So you always know what the other people are doing in terms of navy-wise. And if you see ships gathering, you, you understand what's happening. Unless like Yellow is building their fleet out here or something. So... That means ground armies, which can move through these woods less detected, are going to be valuable. This section does not have a lot of trees, so this is a very critical area. It's a nice, easily defensible position, because you could see anyone moving out into the plains. Okay, I dig it. Purple out here is pretty chill. Okay, so these are the capitals. Um, let's draw actual borders on a new layer. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Borders. Now, how do I draw borders? I want to just basically trace over. Oh, well, that's how we do it. Here we go.
we'll do this minus that plus this. Cool, and we'll go cop copy and we'll go paste. And then we move it back into place. Excellent. Uh, but now we're going to go blend color overlay yellow. Is that right? Do we actually want this color of yellow? Whatever. We're going to just it'll have a color to it. Okay, sorry, I need to see what I'm doing. Oh god. All right, color overlay. No, no color overlay for now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. It's then still on borders. We're going to come down here like this. Over here. Like that up along the side. Up through to that. Fantastic. Um, but let's change the color something more easily visible. Why is the Why is when the yellow is on the black we get this weird funky shit going on over here? Because the yellow. Okay, I see what's going on. All right, so we're also going to do stroke one pixel, and then the same. Got it. Got it. Got it. So here, 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 here. Stroke one here, here. There we go. Hmm. Is there anything else that we can do with this? Okay. <clears throat> So let's zoom in again. We're going to do the blue city this time. The blue the blue thingy. So grabbing our coastlines. And then just zooming in to make sure we get all the right areas of everything. Um, oh god, what have I done? Okay, coming up through here, making sure that we don't get any of the red. No red. 
Blue, 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 blue. Great. Fantastic. So we're going to copy. And we're going to just do a new layer. And we're going to paste. And then we're going to move you down, up, up. Perfect. And then we're going to grab you. And do that. And that. Excellent. And then from here, we're going to go copy layer style paste layer style, but instead of those colors, we're doing these colors. Um, cool. All right, now we're going to do the same with pink. Come through here, select pink. Make sure we don't accidentally select any blue. Excellent. And we're going to go copy, paste here. Uh, we should just do this yellow kingdom, blue kingdom, pink kingdom. Kingdom, we should go all the way here and then follow the same line down to there. Paste layer style, but change the colors. Look at that. Oh, yes, and also. Okay, so we've got three of our six. Bring back the coastline. We're gonna do the Red Kingdom now. Go all the way around. Come back through. Excellent, remove. Anything that is borderline, haha, <laughs> borderline, get it? Um, what about control over this island? I think red will claim it as their own. Yeah. Okay, so coastline, copy, paste, and move into place. And um, paste their styles. Okay. And then zoom in down here again.
like that. Good. Okay, time to do the Green Kingdom. Uh, but you should be renamed Red Kingdom. We have a new one called Green Kingdom. And for that, we do this. And we copy, paste. Perfect. And then we paste style, color overlay, stroke overlay, go to the coastline. We need to really zoom in. Okay. Green. Mm -hmm. Okay. So turn coastline on and get rid of kingdom layers. There we go. That's nice. It's looking real nice. Time to grab that last purple kingdom. So uh, new layer. Purple kingdom. I also think that we're going to put a lake right here with a river running down this way like this which will divide the green and blue kingdoms across a, an actual border. Um, and these guys will do it like that. Is that a good spot up here? No, that is a terrible spot. Okay. Coastline, copy, paste, over, down, over, paste style, kingdom color, color overlay. Oh, whoa, what have I done? There we go. Stroke overlay, boom, boom, boom. Now the real question, or the real challenge here is getting the rest of the Actually, it's not going to be a challenge at all. Uh, so where is this? Okay, we can actually get rid of this coloring and do something like this. Okay, so now we have our different kingdoms set up. Um, do we want to? Ooh, is this something that we want to do? Do we want to do this? Let's find out. Okay, hold on. Let's figure what purple kingdom. Inner shadow. All right, let's maybe chill on the shadow. Okay. 
Now let's get rid of inner shadow and do drop shadow. Um, well, do I even want them to be color coordinated like this? Is the question, is the real question. So what if we don't? It might be better just to leave them like this. And then instead of inner shadow, we do drop shadow. I don't know. The inner shadow is kind of nice. Okay, what if we don't do a color overlay? What if we leave the line and then, yeah, I think that's better. There's no color overlays. There we go. Now we have our different kingdoms drawn out. I don't know. I kind of did like... Oops. Yeah. Hmm. That's not the right way to do it, but Here, let's just remove these drop shadows from all these things. Oh, these inner shadows. We're going to take a look at the yellow kingdom still, or the green. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to do the, the blue kingdom now. I think that's a good one to play with. Um, so playing with the stroke on the blue kingdom. And we could raise it to five on everything. I think that is better. Makes things a little bit easier to see. split into these different regions. Now the only problem <clears throat> is that when they border, one of them usually takes precedent over the other, which is unfortunate. Is, is there any way that we get these blend mode multiply? Ooh, what if we multiply them? Okay, where's the yellow? Where's our yellow kingdom? Multiply. Ooh. I think this might be what we're looking for. I think we want to go from normal to multiply. There you go, because now you can kind of see the borders through one another. And everything kind of has a cooler look to it. Um, and what if, what should I do to the entire coastline? Blending option. You don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. Um, no. Hmm. 
Hmm. What if we just drop shadow the whole coastline? Uh, let's do the size. Let's do the size at five, but let's just reduce the distance. Um, it's pretty nice and all, however, you can't really see it when there's other colors in the way. Maybe it should be left like this. Maybe this really is the best way of doing this. Oh, Red Kingdom. Hold on, buddy. Um, Nah, fuck it. Let's leave it like that. Then we have these cities. And we should probably mark other cities of importance. Okay, so maybe we should do capital cities, blending option, stroke, inside, some sort of red one. What if it's um, center? Outside, inside, no. Okay, what if we do red inside stroke as black? Okay. And then we could change this to whatever we wanted. So what should a capital city look like on the inside? Probably gold. And let's reduce the stroke a little bit. Okay, so that's a capital city. Uh, which means we should get a legend going as well. So that should be capital city. Uh, now we should just do, is there anything else that we should make a serious note of? Um, God, how far are these things? Distance is difficult. Oh, hey, we, if we have questions about distance, why don't we just put on our rulers? So four squares are 100 miles. So this is... 100 miles, two, three, this is 200 miles side to side. And one, two, three, 100, one, two, three, four, 125, 225 miles top to bottom. So 200 by 225. Um, yeah, so we're not gonna have too many big important cities around here. Uh, we should definitely reduce this too. So we should have, um, let's go 
major cities. Should probably have one here for trade. Um, What else do we do? Oh, we never did fill in this swamp area over here. I'm not sure how to do a swamp. Um, we'll figure that out in a bit. What else do we need? We need, where, el where else do we need cities? <laughs> Do we want a big city out on the coast anywhere? I don't think so. These areas aren't that far apart. Like this is only 50 miles. You shouldn't have too many. How many cities would you have in 200 mile area? I guess it really depends on. Hmm. Um. Oh, that's right, we were gonna put a lake up here, weren't we? Let's forget about major cities for now and all of this stuff. Actually, we need green and yellow. Uh, and let's also forget about the extras. Um, and we need to draw a lake right here with a river heading out of it. Um, all right, we're going to take a break and we're going to come back and we'll finish this map another time. So we'll come back with the second part later. Bye-bye. That's not right. <laughs>